Mia would have been 19 this year. Mia's dad and I were married in 1996. His mother had Huntington's disease when I met him, and I just remember thinking it was the worst disease ever. It tore our family apart. My husband had Huntington's disease, um, and now Sheena, my daughter, has Huntington's. Sheena used to fall down quite a bit, but I just, is that right, isn't it? Sheena used to fall down quite a bit. Um, so for me, it was just like a, a normal thing that a child does. I knew I had. Y you knew you had it? Yeah. When I was dating Ellie's dad, I did know that he, they had HD in their family. And then I became pregnant and I knew that she was at risk. The one thing that we thought for sure is that we had a lot of time on our hands. We, and I thought, you know, I just have a tiny little baby and we have lots of years and lots of technology to develop. So we'll just deal, it, deal with it if we ever need to. Kobe was seven years old when he was diagnosed. He would trip over things, drop things. Um, he used to fall down the stairs. Yeah, he used to fall down the stairs and all of that kind of stuff, really. Um, I was upset sometimes, but I got through it because I really loved him a lot. He was my best brother I ever had. The only one you ever had. <laughs> um, we were really we were best friends as well. We did everything together. Eloise was diagnosed two months before Kobe died and that was um, the summer of 2008. Juvenile HD is similar in some ways to the usual adult onset but also has its differences. Um, we think of Huntington's disease as uh, causing trouble in three different areas um, in the movement, the thinking and memory and learning, uh, and also mood. Um, and certainly children will have those same kinds of symptoms, but the details sometimes are a little bit different for children than for adults. The mood changes can be fairly dramatic, particularly if the symptoms are beginning in the teenage years. We woke up one night and Mia was literally beating us up with a lamp off our nightstand. And I looked at her and she looked at me and she was terrified. And I knew the night that that happened, I said, this is not normal. There's something happening with this. I think for me, the major time when I began to suspect something was wrong was mood changes and also decline in schoolwork. In school, she had lots of learning problems, cognitive learning problems, and so, I didn't know that that was a sign of HD at all. It wasn't until she was a freshman in high school when it became glaringly obvious that there was definitely more issues. I just get tired walking sometimes. You get the yeah. shakes, don't you? And sometimes get a bit shaky as well. And sometimes I struggle doing things, so mom sometimes help me with it. Sometimes more mouth. Sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> All the time then. <laughs> there was a local conference in Minnesota for HD. I went and um, I met Dr. Nance and um, and that's when it hit me, like, for real. Yeah, they went down the list of symptoms and so many of them were like, ooh, ooh. Everyone we'd hear was like, okay, check, check check and it kind of dawned on us part of the way through that this was a real possibility at that time. When mom first came home and said like they think that Mia could have Huntington's, I before that never knew that little kids could have it like that was the first time ever so it was just like really shocking. Everything that I thought I knew about Huntington's um, clearly I didn't I didn't know kids could even get this. I always thought that it was kind of something that was late onset like I didn't understand that it really could impact children as well. Got diagnosed on my father's funeral. It's a day we'll never forget. Initially you laughed, yeah. but then what happened after that? I just was there. 
on the same time all day and all night. And how long for were you in that depression, do you think? About two years. Two years? Yeah. There is meaning in life after a diagnosis of Huntington's disease. One of my um, dearest patients over the years um, was um, a little boy who had really the world's worst case of Huntington's disease. It began when he was two years old. But the kids in his class at school really embraced him and there was, and they took care of him and they loved him. So here's a child who could hardly move, um, you know, at age 10 because of terrible Huntington's disease, who brought meaning to the lives of all of his classmates. Mia inspired so many people when she was here. And for people who are out there right now who are where we were in 2006, know that your kids are going to inspire and change the lives of so many people. Can you guys think of one word that would describe me? Special. Awesome. Ellie's doing great. She's 18 years old. She graduated from high school. She has the community support. She's doing a great program for kids with special needs from 18 to 21, a transition program. So she's got a job. She's a light in a lot of people's lives. She has affected more people's lives than I think any of us know. Can you two tell me what is an all for Ellie day? Um, it's where we have the huge carnival and we play games, bouncy and there's lots houses. there's of people. We're sharing about Huntington's, right? Mm -hmm. How does it feel to have the whole community support you? It feels amazing. We literally just do as much as we can together. We get up together, we have breakfast together. Now I'm at a disabled school and I really love it there. Her school bus, she leaves the house at five past seven, gets to school quarter to nine. But she enjoys the school, so she never moans about going. Moved into a flat with, and then had carers. But before then, you actually started your studies, didn't you? And you went to university and you did international tourism management. And where else did you travel to? Miami and Michigan. Mi Miami and Michigan. You yeah. had placements yeah. out there, didn't you? Yeah. Can you tell us what Sheenham's Wish is? Sheenham's Wish is a charity. Sheenham said that she wants to raise £10,000 for, which we think are about 100 young people in the country, to give them all £100 to have some. Fun. Fun. <laughs> We are in a brand new era in Huntington's disease research um, where um, therapies that are directed at the gene mutation itself are now being studied in human beings with Huntington's disease. This is not just mice, it's not just test tubes, it's actually trying these, these gene-based therapies in human beings. If there was ever a disease for which um, gene-based therapies should work, it's Huntington's disease. What would you tell other young people who have HD? Just to stay positive, just to stay positive and, and embrace all the good things and, and to do all the fun things you can do. Just stay strong and believe in yourselves.